In this, we are going to see the implementation of ordered doubly linked list in C++. First, let me increase the font size. Yes. Now, uh, here, in the previous uh, video, we have seen the implementation of ordered doubly linked list theoretically. Here we are seeing it in now when uh, I am executing it in Genie. So here we as usual declare the node and then it consists of three fields. One is the information field and the other two are the previous and the next field which points the previous node and the next node. And here we are declaring a class called OLLL and then uh, we declare two pointers head and nail which were the head points of the first node and the tail points of the last node. And then we check using the constructor, we made head and tail to point to null. So initially there will be no node. This position indicate uh, that the uh, W link list uh, is a, is, uh, it, uh, so far it does not have any node. It is empty. And we have the following number functions. Is null is empty. Then insertion, deletion, search, and then traverse, update list, destroy, and reverse. So we'll see what they will do. Is full will check whether uh, memory space is there for the new node to be created and added to the W link list. So first part that first we create a temporary node, and if it is equal to null, that means there is no space. Else, uh, what you do is you re re delete the particular temporary node and then return zeros, indicating that there is space to create the new node. Then is empty. Yeah, this is is full and this is is empty. Here, if the head is pointing to 12, that means there is so far no node in the W link list. So it will return 1. Else, it will return 0, indicating that there are some nodes. Now, in session, here we pass the data. So this program, what it will do, it will automatically find the position. Say, for example, ascending order to descending order. That is what here we are doing. Ascending, this is an ascending order. So from uh, small data to bigger data. So it, this will be uh, inserted automatically when you give the data, the, it will find its own position and that particular position, this will be inserted. So after insertion, again, it will be in an ordered fashion, that is in ascending order. So initially, we check, uh, we use this algorithm search. So first we will see what the search will do. This search, yes, here we pass the data, which uh, we are going to insert and then we are, passing two more uh, pointers, previous and current. So using this, we travel in the node and then this uh, search will return the correct location where this data, yes, data has to be inserted. So it checks for whether it is greater than this current data. If it is greater than, then it will stop. Or else if it is less than, then it will move. So that in the correct position, when it find the correct position, it will return the position by uh, using this previous and the uh, current node to the main to the calling program so this will return the position where it has to be inserted the new data has to be inserted so that will be take uh, that will be hold by this uh, that will be taken care by this it will call this and the previous and current uh, locations also will be returned so if it is equal to 1 which means the data is already existing in that so if it else, it will return a zero saying that the data element is not existing, but it will return the position where the new data has to be inserted. That will be in the previous and current node. Then we, as usual, what we do is we create a temporary node, put the data, and then we check whether there is any node or not. If empty, then this will be the only one node. So we make the pointer manipulations accordingly. Else we check whether it is a first node, and then we do the pointer manipulations accordingly. Else, we are going to insert it as a last node. Else, middle. This is for in between. So, that also will be done. Then, deletion. Here, deletion again, we pass the data. Then, using the search algorithm, we get the uh, uh, previous node and current node. So, that uh, when you delete the middle node or whatever node, then the previous and current location has to be modified. Uh, modified accordingly. So, for that, we get this uh, values. Then we check whether it is a first node to be the first we check whether it is returning a one or a zero. If it is returning a zero, then we say if the data is not there, then we cannot delete. So all these things will be skipped. Else we are going to delete that particular node. 
So we check whether it is a only one node. In that case, we have to modify the head point, the head and tail accordingly. Else we check whether it is a last node. Then again, we have to modify the pointers accordingly. Or else if it is in between, then we have to modify the pointer accordingly so that the particular node will be disconnected from the doubly linked list and it will be deleted. Finally, we delete that. And we keep that node. We, we make that po temp pointer to point to that node which is going to be deleted. Traverse, as we have already seen, using a temporary node, we travel from forward uh, in the forward direction and print the uh, information field. Then we reverse travel, we use tail. Here we use the temp to point to the head because that is the first node and then we use temp to move to the next next node. Here reverse travel, we make the tail to be allocated to the temp and then we move previous node. And then while moving previously, we print the data in the information field accordingly. So this we have already seen, then update. Here we pass the old data, new data and check the uh, we find uh, we, we use a temporary pointer to go through the whole of the list and when we find that old data then we replace it with the new data or else we indicate that the data is not that if it reaches the end of the uh, w linked list and still we are not able to find then we cannot update so it returns a zero then destroy here we move the head pointer itself and then while moving we keep the, the temporary node to point to the then and there newly head then we delete that temporary pointer accordingly here this is a main program uh, menu driven program then we call in this we call the respective functions accordingly now i execute this program and we will see how it is while insertion itself it is deleted if, if the data is inserted properly in an order so sorry yes now I'm going to insert the data. Let me see some 20. Then again, I'm inserting data, which is 10. Now when I say print, say the value 5. Now if you see 10, 20, automatically, even if I inserted first 10, it automatically, when I insert 20, it comes to the next. Suppose I insert the value, oh, let me see, uh, 50. Now automatically it will be inserted in between in an order. Now we'll, uh, let me print the node. See here, it is automatic. Whereas in the previous case, insertion at the begin, at the end, at the middle, all those things we will get. And then you insert as a first node or last node according. But here it automatically, when you insert a data, it automatically finds a place and then it will be inserted. Now four, let me delete. Now again, here I am giving the value to be deleted as 50. Now it is deleting. It finds search, uh, find a match and then it delete. Now I again I am printing. See, it uh, the 15 has gone. Then reverse print. Uh, before that, let me insert some more values. So, three. Now just I print the value. Now you can see this is the ascending order. Now reverse print. See here, it is printing the reverse. So starting from 57 to this. Now search for an element. Let me say whether 45 is there. Yes, it is present. Element is present, it will give. Then update. I want to update 45 to 40. Now again, I print the value. See here, the 45 is changed to 40. Then destroy the element, destroy the list. And then if I am trying to, I mean, this is not filled. But I, when I give to, yes, list is empty. Now I exit the 